Hey guys, what's up? I'm Slim and you're watching Slimothy TV. In this video, I have a super cool one for you guys. We're gonna be taking a look at this Andar Pilot. Now this is a super modern wallet and I'm very excited to take a look at it. And big thank you and shout out to Andar for sending this out free for review. If you missed our other video, we reviewed this awesome full grain leather case for the iPhone 14 Pro. It's currently our favorite leather iPhone case that we've reviewed, but let's go ahead and see if this wallet can live up to expectations because we reviewed a couple different wallets on this channel. So let's see what it is. Here's the box. And on the back here, you can read just a little bit about it. You can read about their company right here. And it claims to evenly fan out the cards with a slide action trigger, RFID protected, made from aluminum alloy, wrapped in full grain leather, designed to carry seven plus cards and up to 15 bills. So that is quite a bit actually. We got the saddle brown color to show you guys and let's go ahead and unbox and take a look. So we got a little thank you card with another code, but again, use our code SLIM15 at checkout for 15% off your order. That's probably gonna be much more than this one. We'll have a link down below with all that information as well. Let's go ahead and take a look here. Everything is packaged very nicely. Let's pull out of this little sleeve, which again, you could repurpose this sleeve for pretty much anything, especially when traveling, it's nice to have them. And here it is, look at that. Oh my goodness, that looks so good. Give it a sniff test. Mmm, smells like a brand new leather couch. Let's take a look what else is in the box. Absolutely nothing. You can see this nice little touch. They've got a little leather uh, pull tab here for the box. So Andar really does think about the little things with their unboxing experience. Here it is, taking a quick look around it because I have not used a wallet quite like this. Typically, I just use one of those little Louis Vuitton card holders. We've got a review on the channel. This is a whole different beast here. You can see it's got their little logo right here, as well as a tiny bit of branding on the back. But besides that, it is a very nondescript, classy looking wallet. I wanted to get the saddle brown here because it kind of gives it that already distressed look of the leather. Let's go ahead and grab some cards and see how much we can fit in here. All right, guys, let's go ahead and give this a shot. I've got 10 different gift cards here and it says it can only hold seven. So let's just start off with five. Actually, let's do six. So I've got six cards right here. Let's go ahead and stick them in and see if they fit. Again, these are all plastic and let's try the slide action. There we go. And if you look at that, it does kind of fan them out. Now let's try it again. Ooh, I pressed it a little bit harder there and it shot them out even further. You can see from a side profile kind of what that looks like. So if you were looking for a specific card, you can go through here and find it. Let's try it one more time because that is kind of addicting. All right, so that is how it works. Interesting. I'm gonna go get one of my metal credit cards and just see if it still works. I think I heard someone say that it doesn't work with those, but I wanna dispel that myth or see if it's true. But in the meantime, let's just see if we can put some bills in the back. I think it said 15 bills. So we'll just get a couple here. All right, so I just got six random bills here and we're just gonna see how many we can fit in here. I know it says 15, but I don't personally carry 15 bills with me. Um, I definitely would not do that. So there they are kind of just sticking in there. I could probably fold it one more time. Let's give it the shake test, see if they're going anywhere. And you can see they slid out just a bit. Uh, let's go ahead and fold it one more time over. Cause again, this is only six bills. You can already see the leather kind of getting patinaed here from the bills. That is nice to see. So let's stick them in like this and just see if we can shake it. Nope, no movement there. So it does make it a little bit bulkier. I personally would not trust having money on the back of this. Um, just because even if it was in this position, cause pulling it in and out of your wallet, I've, although it doesn't move here, I just wouldn't feel comfortable. I would only do that if I was in a pinch and I really needed to have a little bit of cash for me personally. I just don't like having cash hanging out like this, but that's just me. So let's take that out of there just so we can get a slimmer profile because I want to show you guys how I would use it. And you can see on the back here, the patina is already starting to wear in from the bills, which is super nice. If I scratch it, you guys can see that as well. So over time you will get scratches on your wallet and it will look unique and no one else's will look like it. But let me go get one of my metal credit cards and we'll give this a shot. All right, so let's see how hard it is to add another card if it's even possible. So we are adding that metal card right now. We'll slide it up and it seems to work just fine. Metal card in there. Let's try it one more time from this angle. One, two, three. So yeah, the metal card came up just at the same level as the plastic one. Really not a big deal at all. All right, so let's try it one more time. And there we go. You can see it came up just fine. I don't see any issues there. So I say metal cards do work. Now there is another question you might be asking, how many cards is two little cards for this to work? So let's go down to two cards and just see if two cards works. Yep. Let's go ahead and see if just one card works. Yep. Now the question is, does it stay in there? Cause that's what it looks like. It does wiggle out just a tiny bit, but realistically you're not gonna be moving that much in your pockets. And let's try with two. Almost no movement there, but again, you get that great slide release right there. So realistically, I would say two cards is the minimum. One card is works just fine. As you can see, three works as well. 
and a fourth just for consistency. There we go. I love how they do evenly fan out. Like that is a legit claim from this company and they actually did it. So let's take a look at the inside mechanism of this and see how it works. This is gonna be very difficult to show, but in there you can see there's some little teeth. They kind of look like steps and I think that's their secret sauce. I think that's how they do it. Uh, they've got something in there, that mechanism, and that thing really does the job. This thing is almost like a fidget toy, to be honest with you. Let's go ahead with seven cards one last time. Boom, there they are. So yeah, you will look like a boss when you're using this at the checkout. The front here, you can put a card, but to be honest, if you put a card in here, it's gonna be kind of difficult to get out just because it's so, so tight. Uh, maybe with time it will get better, but uh, I would not put something in here that you're gonna use daily. You know what? You could probably actually put some cash in here. Let's go ahead and try. Uh, not that this would be my go-to spot, but yeah, this definitely works for cash. I would trust this much more than this back piece right here, especially if it was a bigger bill. Uh, if it was just, you know, five bucks back here, who cares? But in here, if you got fifties, hundies, you're gonna want to have them a little more secure. And I just wanna test something. So I put 50 bucks in here. Let's see if it works. It does. So they don't advertise this, but if you really had to stick some cash and wanted to sneak it in there somewhere, this is one way to do it. Just be mindful that when you do pull it out, the cash is in there, so you don't want it falling out. So wow, that has been some very thorough testing of this wallet. I put it through its paces and it shined. This is definitely going to be one of my favorite wallets. This is my main usual wallet, just a Louis Vuitton card holder, nothing special about it at all. But just to give you guys kind of an idea of how big this is, this is not a big wallet at all. The only difference is this one is rigid because again, it's aluminum on the inside. It's got that very solid mechanism covered in very premium leather. This on the other hand is just kind of floppy because it's just canvas, which is basically plastic. So yeah, this does jut out just a little bit, this little button here. I think this thing is super addicting to use. And I don't know if you're the guy at the checkout that does this, that looks pretty cool. So check this thing out. Again, links to it down below. 15% off if you use the code SLIM15. Spend 75 bucks or more and you get free shipping, 90 day returns and exchanges and a one year warranty. It's hard to go wrong with these products. Big shout out and thank you to Andar for sending these out free for review. Now, the best thing about this is that it is RFID protected. So if someone did have a skimmer, they're not gonna be able to get through this. So your cards should be secure in here. That's another thing that my current wallet is missing, uh, that RFID protection, because you don't want to get skimmed. That would be no bueno. But anyways, check this out. Again, links to it down below. Thumbs up, subscribe. Peace.